Please note, we are playing this on hard as always with the advanced edition content enabled. There you go. Continue. And the very first thing that I want to do, Herxena, please visit this empty room over there and enjoy space. Uh, Dark Nase, hello, how's it going? Best of luck, Jordy Jones and the crew. Oh, what happened? Oh, look at this, Xena died. So, uh, this was totally only because of, uh, 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 you know, um, just to show you uh, how the um, clone bay works, right? You have to have it powered and then you get your team back, uh, your crew member back if they die, you know. So... Uh, the, the downside to this is that they lose skill points, but at the start it doesn't really matter because everyone does not have any skills at all. So yeah, that was just for a demonstration, Herxena. <laughs> now actually, Herxena, what you said there at the start, that's, you know, you had, you had to get a little punishment there, you know? What was it again? I forgot already. Why I did this? What, what I did this for? Let's create a mutiny! Ah, yeah, yeah, aboard the ship and watch it blow up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was that warranted that little, uh, that little thing here at the start. All right, open all doors and close the doors to the Lanius so that we can get oxygen back into our rooms. What what are my uh, first objectives? Get to level two, uh, uh, level two shields. That's the first and very. Uh, most important objective of mine. Get another weapon is the second one. Um, boost the engines because I my experience is that uh, it pays off if you have the ability to run away fast in some situations. And fourth, um, um, level up the doors. There you go. What's Chet saying? Oh, hello Heimdall Place. Thank you for joining us. Hello Grivix. Yeah, I thank you for the uh, tweet, by the way, Grivix. Uh, that was very helpful. Uh, and this goes out to everyone who's retweeting me on Twitter. Uh, that's helping me out a lot, guys. You, um, thanks for your support. For your support. Cybro Ares says, "I'm engines man. Do you want to be the engines man? I just put Jordy into engines. Let me know, Cybro." Uncle Eli says, "Airlocked." Nice and slash, uh, nice, nice sand slash. I want always, uh, I always want to say nice and slash, but it's nice sand slash. For dinner, I'm eating a breakfast bowl. Oh, okay. And get the burst laser mark too. That's always a good plan, Jugo Jugo. Alvador7 says your first paycheck is in the airlock. <laughs> All right, okay. Cybro decided it's better to be in the engine's room. And I'm happy to apply, uh, to, you know, oblige. The, re the lens is really good in, in piloting or engineering. That is all fine with me. <coughs> Salsa Samurai says, for me, I immediately rush engines as far as possible for dodging. Yeah, so Salsa Samurai, you, if there weren't uh, that, one th that one reason that I'm going to tell you, um, in, a, in a second, uh, uh, shields level 2 and better engine engines, better dodge rage are about to be balanced, but um, having level early level 2 shields um, don't cut down only on the incoming damage, but they also give you a chance of um, meeting a training ship in early sector 2. Um, with with uh, higher engines, so higher dodge chance, this is not the case. So, yeah, that's something you have to keep in mind. Hello, Hovinal, how's it going? You say Hovinal wonders if he gets to see a battle before leaving to work. Hello, Skull Monkey, how's it going? Yeah, I had to wait for the oxygen to, uh, you know, apply to the new situation that we have Elenius in engineering now. So, there we go. The exit is in a very good location, but it is very poorly connected to just this one. This, oh man. Really? So even if we time it so that we are just in front of the uh, rebel fleet when we start our pass to the exit, 
we will lose two jumps in the process. Or it would, let's say one jump, because this is so weirdly shaped. Because this is a one-way street here, right? Oh, man. Well, okay. Also, we have we have a nebula in this sector, but it is also weirdly shaped. Okay, so no, we are not going to that shop. God damn it! What what about this universe here? Look at this. Nothing is connected. Okay, this is connected, but this isn't. I want. I don't want to fly past this store because I can't really buy anything there. One, two. So we will leave this nebula location out. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is the plan. There you go. Flyos, how is it going? Long time no see. How is it? Yeah. You say hi to Jordi Jones and chat. Summer says hi to. Hello, Summer! Is it summer again? Or winter? I lost, I lost track. I'm sorry. That is fantastic that Flyos is visiting us tonight. This is a good omen, guys. Although, our very first jump here is an empty jump, which is a bad omen, so I think that balances itself out. Dark Nasa says, got blasted out of the sky in Sector 3 last night. So go forth, Johnny Jones, and blast those rebels. I shall avenge thee, my good friend. I shall avenge thee. So, okay. So I... Well, I have I have a bad feeling about this, if I might say so. Um, it's so weirdly shaped here. I cannot even um, visit all three nebula locations, and I'm losing jumps here at the end. The first jump leads to a store. Um, if the store wouldn't have been here, but here I would actually have been able to visit that nebula location as well, but I couldn't. <sighs> all right. You arrive in the system to see a pirate ship pursuing a civilian ship. You detect messages from the civilian ship on the distress frequency. Eight, the civilian ship. Possible double reward, but they are armed with a laser and a beam. That's potentially dangerous. Very dangerous. If that beam goes through, we are done for. So let's hope we can disable their weapons fast enough. That beam takes a while, right? Although it is it seems like to be just a mini beam. Oh. Okay, we ate one damage there. Because our shield took so long to get back up. But we disabled now the Um The beam, so nothing can happen to us for now. And I want to use that stunner on on the repair guy. So we shoot the dual lasers first. To get the shields out of the way and then we shoot the stunner and hopefully it hits. There you go! No repairing for you guys. <laughs> Flyo says, Johnny, I think we are back to summer. Yeah, you better get your facts right. Flyo. Otherwise I see drama. <laughs> no, say hello to summer. It's awesome that she, uh, you know, was thinking of me. Fantastic. I love the soundtrack, guys. Oh no, he keeps repairing. Alrighty. Skull Monkey says. What is he saying? Eight one damage, Jordy Jones. The fuck? You eat the damage now. Are you that hungry? That's the saying. Come on. It is a saying, isn't it? In English. There you go, nice. Vaitana, hello, how's it going? You say hmm, to keep recording or to watch Jordy Jones? Vaitana, what are you recording? Tell us. Okay, it's time to blow them up, you know. No more games here. Oh, look at this. I knew it. This was some somehow fateful here. Excellent. Are you guys going to die in the fire? Oh, actually, hmm, if, if I, I am lucky, 
uh, one shot misses and the other shot takes care of the shields and then the iron stunner will stun the guys inside the fire but they were too fast all right okay i'll take the 15 scraps then i mean it's double reward right the pirate ship breaks apart you hasten you hasten to contact the civilian ship 15 scrapped one drone part one missile contact the civilian ship hey crew member that is actually the fifth point on my list of objectives um three crew members just one to uh um we are just one short on, on, on important crew members right so yeah weston yeah the rock person excellent welcome aboard weston <laughs> You'll take a little break, right, Hannah? Let's uh, have a nice break. Enjoy it. Uh, Jordi Tom says, I'm recording episode for my insane run of Baldur's Gate. Oh, excellent. So you guys make sure you watch Vaitana's adventures in the Baldur's Gate universe once they come out. The Longhoff, hello. Uh, that, uh, that nickname is uh, so awesome still. The Longhoff. Longer than the Hoff. Excellent. So, uh, who wants to play the the rock person? You know what? I'm feeling I'm feeling um, I'm feeling funny today. Why don't we call the rock person Summer? Because you know, the rock person is clearly female. Send my best regards to Summer, Flyos. Tell her about these events. All right. Okay, that is very good. We got 15 scraps and we got a uh, crew in our th second jump here. That's excellent. Excellent. Go to the distress signal. Oh, and we get a, our first blue option for a rock crew, which we just got. So... Alright, the sector is weirdly shaped, but the game is making up for it somehow. Don't forget our first jump was empty, but still, I'm liking it. So, what, what do we have here? You locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease has spread violently. They are setting up a quarantine to count contain it, but a riot has broken out. Send your rock crew member to prevent a riot! So there you go, Herxina. No mutinies or riots anywhere. Ha! Excellent! Four fuel, one drone part and eight scraps. It's unlikely the rock's impressive immune system is susceptible to a human virus, so you send it in. It is able to intimidate the workers long enough for the colony forces to set up a quarantine. Their leaders offer a reward and assure you they will try to find a cure as soon as possible. Hooray! Summer, you are the best crew member already. <laughs> is that Summer's uh, uh, answer? Excellent, excellent. She is, she is. Um, <laughs> Jugo Jugo says, are you discriminating rocks now, Jordi? No, rocks are awesome. Oh, rocks are, you know, the best, the best mates you can have on the ship. Best teammates. Alrighty. Hmm, all is going good. We don't need to visit the store though. One, two, three, four, five. No, wait. One, two, three. Wait, can we? No, this doesn't really connect. Hmm. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see how that works. You should name. You should have named her Gemma. I have to say that TV series um got really bad at the end. I have to say. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby, uh, a nearby pirate seem to have advanced hacking tools, and they have tried to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational, and you move in to attack. Oh, look at this. <gasps> Burst laser 2 in sector 1 with another, uh, with another weapon accompanying this. Oh, man. I have to shoot now, I'm sorry. Oh, that was actually perfectly timed. Excellent. 
Um, I don't remember. Um, Sons, Sons of Anarchy. There you go, Jugu Jugu. Sons of Anarchy. That's what I was looking for. Nice. Everything disabled. You stop what you're doing there, Turing. I mean, I like the name. Can we make Turing explode? I would like to make Turing explode. Ah! They, because they don't have any med bay, that might actually happen. Yeah! Boom! He goes! <laughs> Unfortunately, the ship cannot take all the damage. So, yeah, I cannot get to the crew before the ship blows up. There you go. 10 scraps, average in sector 1. Satisfactory, I have to say. And 3 fuel, that's good, that's good. Salsa Samurai ask in chat, uh, have any of you ever seen Babylon 5? I think our community is pretty science fiction. Um, how do you say that in English? Well versed in the science fiction genre. So I guess there are a few. I've seen it and I enjoyed it. Pretty good. A little unfortunate that they had to uh, change the main, uh, you know, the main character after the first season, but overall, it had the for fortune of, you know, having been planned as a show that goes on for season five, uh, for five seasons, right from the beginning, right? That paid off good <coughs> for a while. You detect a rebel scout on an attack approach. To a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they are not firing yet. Intervene to defend the outpost. Possible double double reward, and we are going to see intruders. But no one defies the rebel fleet. They move in to engage. Oh, they have a missile system. So ah, the rock person takes so long to get to the uh, sh uh, to the doors. So we will switch that up a little bit. Um, Herxina, you will man doors and Summer, you move over to the weapons. Okay. Ah, this is how we want them. Suffocate them. Okay. Unfortunately, they will get one missile off. I can't do anything against that. And it hits me in Clone Bay. No. Not good. But their weapons are offline. The weapons are offline? Actually, you know what? I don't want him to return to his ship. Oh, excellent. Um, I would like to stun them, but unfortunately, the fire will go out before I can shoot. I I feel ah <laughs> stunned inside fire. That should hurt. Oh, did he die? Yay! Excellent. Good work. Good job. Okay, you can go and repair Clone Bay. I'm thinking about a way to. Kill these before the ship blows up. Uh, unfortunately, they are now not in the same room anymore. So that is not going to work. I can lure them into shield. Oh, only one. Okay. Okay. I'll take the reward rewards from the reg. There you go. Oh, what's going on? I'm all is unfo unfollowing people. Something drama, drama in chat. Uh, okay, Hobinal said it first. 
Uh, two Salsa Samurai, I can't imagine anyone who hasn't. Duka Duka says, I haven't. Uh, Nulani says, not from beginning to end. By the way, hello Nulani. Thank you for joining us as well, Uncle Elias. Uncle Elias liked Babylon 5 and Flyo says, I'm one of the heathen or heathen who hasn't seen Babylon 5. Uh, if you're still looking looking to fill your time with the TV series, I can recommend it. Um, the the C, CGI is sometimes uh, a little bit cheesy. Or how do you say? Corny? Cheesy? Hammy? I don't know. Not very good, you know? But the story is gripping. Yeah. Likeable characters. I can recommend Flyos. I can recommend. Uh, Hovinal says Flyos unfollow. Okay, now I know where this is coming from. And Nulani says I'm terrible and get bored with television series no matter how good they are. Take a pause and then and then don't continue for so long that I ha have to start in you anyway. Uh, Nulani, are you? is this actually a situation... Are you talking about a situation where you, the TV series is on air the first time? Or are you talking about you are, you know... Um, tired by or um, binge watching um, whole seasons tire is tiring you out because otherwise if you need if you need a show that grips you I might actually recommend the 24 series I'm currently um, watching the first seasons again and it's great I, I cannot I cannot leave it at one episode I just have to binge watch everything this is the thick try Mulani <laughs> Duga Duga says, damn Jordi, you, so you start to sound a lot like Outstar, did he die? <laughs> yeah, well, he was in, in he was an intruder. Wh what can I do? It was self-defense. <laughs> Flyo says, I have a really hard time getting into TV shows, even ones I like. It's hard to find these days, too. All right. Oh, that's really something new. I thought everyone is like um, has some sort of TV series they like. That's interesting. But Flyos, uh, if I might ask, uh, you can enjoy movies for you know for two hours. Is it is it because of you know the, the serialized nature of of um, TV series? Is that what puts you off, or I don't know. Maybe. Uh, uh, um, ADD, attention disorder, something. <laughs> Skull Monkey says, uh, too much drama, Jordi. Ah, you want to fill your time, watch a Japanese anime. <laughs> yeah, Nunani says, binge watching, yeah, did that with Babylon 5. Watched the first season and then never got around to the second. Yeah, there is a real, um, there is a real break. Uh, or a clear cut between season one and the, you know, the, the later ones. Because they changed the, the main character. Um, Flyo says, hmm, 24 is on Canadian Netflix. I've only watched the first half of season one. Maybe I should finish. Yeah, uh, it, it gets better. It gets better. The season one is okay, but um, two is really awesome. I'm watching five right now and yeah, that's also really awesome. So I can, you know, it is, you know, it, uh, you know, uh, the underlying um, message is clearly pro-American. You know, that this is really uh, raw America um, underlying there. But still, uh, you find yourself, you know, holding your thumbs and biting your nails for the main character, for Jack Bauer. Also, what I have to... Um, um, Congratulate the the show on is that they um, introduced the American audience to um, German umlauts. Everyone can now pronounce the A U umlauts correctly. Well done, twenty four. Uncle Eli says the quality of the special effects should never prevent you from watching science fiction show series. Original Star Trek or even older science fiction movies still work 
uh, even with the dated effect. Actually, uh, they add uh, additional entertainment value. Uh, if I, if I, because now I'm thinking back to the original Star Trek, and they actually had at some point back in the, you know, in the props, or yeah, in the props, uh, a, a, a heat iron, a, a hot iron, a steam iron. You know what I mean, you know, these things that you iron, iron your uh, t-shirts with and stuff like that? <laughs> they had it included in the in the background. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Hovinald says, speaking of time, it's time for me to get to work. Have a great evening, everyone. Hovinald, thank you for hanging out for as long as you could. Enjoy your work. For as unlikely that sounds, but, you know. I wish you a good day, Hovinald. Skalmaki says, America! Yep. Uh, it's funny because Kiefer Sutherland is very Canadian. Um, yeah, he seems actually to be a very uh, not shy, very polite person. Actually, uh, yeah, now that you're saying it, I make the connection there, Thaios, <laughs> because I just recently uh, visited his um, Twitter account. It's called at Real Kiefer, and um, it's not very, very maintained. You know, from time to time he posts something, and. He actually, the last thing was, he, he got contacted by Boy George and he, he answered in, in real, like, a real fan fashion, like, oh, that, this is really cool, hi back, and so, and so on. That was really, like, a human response, a human response. Very polite. I enjoyed it. Alright, let's, let's play a little bit of FTL, shall we? Okay, ship breaks apart and you quickly salvage what you can. 16 scraps, excellent! One drone part, and the outport hails you, the pompous bastards expected free service. Just because they defeated the Federation, take this for the help. Two fuel and 14 scraps on top of that. Excellent, double reward. I can feel level two shields incoming in sector one. This is excellent. So we cannot vo uh, visit that second store as well because, well, we would be in a trap over there. Dark Nasus says, well, it's late for me. I'll watch from bed and thus bid all a good night. Dark Nasus, enjoy your lurk. And thank you for watching me. Flyos, Flyos says, boo Uncle Elias. Hey, uh, Flyos, no need to boo. No need to boo the lurkers. You know, we can, we can have a, a conversation still going. No problems there. Um, alright, so I need to go here now, then there, then there. That's how I need to do it. 